this video we're talking all about the Bandera by Tacovas. If you've been sticking around this channel a little bit, thanks so much for coming back. We appreciate you. If you're just joining us, we talk a lot about men's boots on this channel and other guy related stuff. Okay, mostly men's boots, but hey, let's get into the Banderas. So in this video, we're gonna talk all about the build construction, the quality, how they're made, what type of leather they use, how you should care for them, what size you should get. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of review on my own thoughts of them. And of course, like always, we're gonna take them out on an adventure. So let's get into it. Now friends, I don't always do an unboxing, but I thought, you know what, it's been a while, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm showing you guys what I'm seeing while you're seeing it. I've taken this tape off and now <laughs> check it out. Friends, I am stoked about Tacovas. I've been needing a boot for a while. We're gonna get into that, but uh, right up front, I see a little cozy, and so we'll be talking about what I'm putting in that later. Uh, I got an envelope. This is just between me and Tacovas. I can't let you see it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Guys, let's check it out real quick. We're gonna try to make this as quick as possible. All right, step one, step two, step three. Uh, we're, we're talking about care, cleaning, condition, polish, protect, and check this out. This one's on a belt. So something I'm seeing right off here to the side is a belt. Now friends, I happened to get in on this really cool deal where I was able to get a belt for free. And we're gonna go into that. Boy, are we gonna go into that. Guys, can you smell that coming through the camera? It smells like it takes me back to my childhood, walking through these Western stores, just the boots, rows and stacks and aisles of leather. Uh, it is smelling awesome in here, friends. I wish you could smell that. Really quick, it's just a genuine US calfskin leather belt and I'm really excited about that. I needed a belt and I'm just pumped that they let me throw that in for free. So designed in Austin, Texas, handmade in Leon, Mexico. I'm just gonna pull through that. So there's just something fun about that. So, I mean, friends, if you're a little bit like me, once you get past this fun stage, it's just game on. You're gonna be wearing the boots, but I can say that I really appreciate the care and attention to detail that they've went to here. So a uh, little bit of a topographical map type thing going on there with some waterways, but you can already feel the weight. And now guys, this is a boot. This isn't like a toy. This isn't something uh, even to dress up and go out on the town, even though you certainly could. This is not something to take lightly. <laughs> Look at that outsole. Woo! I can't wait to talk about this Vibram outsole. But guys, oh, I have not been this excited. I'll be honest. I just, I don't know. I haven't been this excited about a boot in quite a while. Uh, cowboy boots are near and dear to my heart, but I am enjoying this like you wouldn't believe. That just feels so good. But hey, let's get into the build and the construction of these Tacovas that I have right here in my hands. Now guys, this is one of three of the ranch wear line. I went straight to that because I want something for work. I don't want it for play. I want something rough and tough. So I went to the ranch line. The first thing that comes up is their Prescott. Now guys, that actually has a 13 and a half inch shaft. And so that's even quite a bit longer. And then the Justins that I'm replacing were 10 inch. So this is a 12 inch. And so that was looking a bit high. The leather selection was pretty neat, but it didn't quite hold up to what I felt was that. Kind of like the Red Wing, I have the, the Roughnecks in the copper rough and tough leather. I was looking for something really gonna hold up to anything that I throw at it. And I just didn't quite think that boot had it. Now guys, they have this shark skin looking situation going on. It's a bit far out for me, but let me know in the comments if you'd wear those. Or if you have some, maybe in that line, and you think the leather is just as tough as could be, let me know too, because I'd be curious. I haven't made my way over to a Tacova store yet. So let me know in the comments. Now the second boot they offer in the ranch line is the Stockton. Now this is where it got tough for me. I really couldn't make up my mind for a while in between the Stockton and the Bandera. And that's because the Stockton actually has a shorter heel and it's a 10 inch calf. And so I started thinking, you know, that's what I'm replacing. It's called a roper, it's, that's what it is. It's a roper. They don't need that big heel. They're not in the stirrups all day. They're not riding bulls. They're not doing the kind of ranching that you would need. Now that Stockton is really good 
also with the tradies and the construction guys. Uh, a roper is a really good option for that. Something that really sold me for the Bandera is this stitching on the top. Now even though they say this is a round toe, the Stockton is more round. And so this looks pointy in my opinion compared to the Stockton. Sometimes I think that that roper style almost looks like a rubber muck boot style uh, in the right color and the right setup. And so what I really wanted was a true and blue Western cowboy boot. And that's what I got, friends. So those are the other two in the work line. Make sure and check them out. But this did it for me. So I'm sitting high on this inch and three quarter heel right here. It's stacked leather with a rubber cap. And then of course this Vibram outsole. Now friends, this is out of sight. I have a bunch of Vibram at this point. And the cool thing is it's not gonna collect rocks. It's slip resistant. It's oil resistant and it has some grips that I can't wait to report back to you guys on. These just look out of sight and I'm stoked. Of course, it's a 270 degree Goodyear welt. They call it the three quarter Goodyear welt. And so you can take this to your cobbler, hopefully years down the line and get you a new outsole. I sure hope that Vibram is still carrying this when you need years resold because that thing just looks too awesome. Now let's work our way back up these poles, the boot poles are reinforced. And so those aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I have big hands and I can get my fingers in there and give a nice good tug. They say this is a Tacoba special, the stitching on the toe. And that just did it for me, made it a Western boot. And then of course it's rounded, but it does come to a point, obviously not like some you'll see. So onto the leather, Tacovas uses a full grain what they're calling an oiled bovin leather. And so I don't know a ton more beyond that process, how it's made or where it's made. If you guys know any more, I'd love to hear about that in the comments below. Uh, but again, I can't stop talking about the leather because obviously it's smelling really good. And I think I'm taken over by the perfumes that are coming off of it. <laughs> but friends, the leather's out of sight, super tough, super thick really good quality leather. And I'm not finding any quality control issues. Now onto the midsole. It's equipped with a removable polyurethane sole inside. And so if you actually wanna take that off, as I'm trying to get it out, if you wanna take it off, if it doesn't fit you, the boot is made to wear on its own. It has a cork bed inside there, so it's gonna to mold to your foot. It's gonna be your foot pattern and nobody else's uh, if you go that route. But this is a removable polyurethane midsole and then the arch support in there is supposed to be really, really good. Without moving on, from the color, I chose the clay and they have the clay or the umber. Now guys, I have a bunch of dark boots and so I didn't want to get carried away with nothing but dark. I thought I'd add some color and I couldn't be happier. I'm going to be wearing these a lot with jeans, with denim, but also with Carhartts. And I can't wait to see how they fit that because Friends, that's what I do. Like I said, I'm wearing them for work and I want something. Uh, I'm not totally going for style when I'm at work, but I actually want it to look somewhat decent. And I think these with a set of Carhartts are going to do just fine. Let's talk about sizing a little bit. Guys, I tried these on off camera and I got to tell you, I just think they fit like a dream. So I am a size 12 in tennis shoes and I ordered 11 and a half in these Tacovas. Now what they say on the website is to order whatever size you have in dress shoes or whatever you have most of in your closet. So just to clarify, shoes and boots around $200 and up really go half a size down. That's pretty much the golden rule and that's what worked for me here. So as they say, whatever you have most of in your closet, well if you have a bunch of Nikes or Reeboks or something like that and you order a size 12, you're probably gonna need a size 11 and a half. However, they have a great return policy, so you're not gonna get stuck in anything you don't need to be in. As long as you just try them on some carpet, you'll be just fine. Just make sure you're not trying them on out on the ranch or in the mud, because they're probably not gonna take them back. And onto the conditioning, the care of these boots are made for the everyday cowboy. Now it's nice and simple and concise, and so what they want you to do is try to circulate your boots out. Now, if you're wearing them every day, for a week or two, it's gonna build up moisture and it's just not gonna give the boots enough time to rest and that could actually not only call, 
not only cause some, some stink and some different issues, but it's not gonna be as good for the leather. So they say, if you can, throw some shoe trees in there. I'll put a link to some good ones that are gonna work for these boots in the description below. But guys, just throw some shoe trees in there. That cedar wood is gonna absorb all the moisture. It's actually gonna keep bugs out, so that's kinda cool. As far as cleaning them, maybe once every month to two months, however often, you'll know when they need them. Probably more than you think, though. When you're actually cleaning them, wipe them down with a horsehair brush. If it's still not quite good, get a damp rag, wipe it down, and then condition. Now they want you to use a water-based conditioner, not an oil-based, and they're talking about changing the color of the leathers and stuff like that. I say, go with what the manufacturer recommends, and you're, you'll be just fine. So Tacovas has some conditioner on their website. Check that out, but if not, just grab your your handy dandy trusty conditioner that you like using and I think you're gonna be fine. Now that's the ultimate care guide. But friends, if you have some oil-based conditioners, some Neats for oil or something, and you're putting that on, that's gonna be a lot better for your boots than not doing anything at all. So I'm not telling you to go away from their recommendations, but friends, it, you know what I'm saying, just put something on there to make sure you're getting it done. If you really need to clean them deeper, I would get some leather cleaner. Red Wing makes it. Uh, Cobbler's Choice has some. There's a ton of different brands out there. And clean it with that and then condition them. So let's talk a little bit about my journey to how I got here. So friends, it's called the Gentleman's Journey. And it just so happens that so far, most of these boots are part of my journey and I have a reason and a purpose. I know it's not always gonna be like that. Eventually, I'm just getting boots to, to review them and I get more excited about boots. But this is still part of that raw journey. Like, I legit need some cowboy boots. I wear cowboy boots almost daily because of the work I do. I have a cleanup and hauling business, and for whatever reason, I love to just kick around cowboy boots all day. I pull them on in the morning, they come on easy, and they go off easy again at the end of the day. There's a ton of boots like Red Wings and different kind of construction boots that would work good for the cleanup and hauling, but I just wear cowboy boots. Now guys, I like to say that my first pair of shoes on this earth were not shoes. They were actually cowboy boots. <laughs> Check that out. So my first set of shoes were boots. I've been in boots as long as I can literally remember. Now these little dudes, actually, I actually wore down some of the tread on these, so I must have been scooting around. Now, friends, a quick little review on these. These are the uh, Diny Kids. All man-made materials made in Taiwan. So at least you know they're man-made and they're made in Taiwan. But friends, this is what I was rocking since day one. I even had a picture, check this out. Uh, I was standing in my dad's boots. Now tell me you haven't done this. Let me know in the comments if you've done the same thing. Just stood in your dad's boots, uh, coming all the way up your thigh and just dreaming of the day that they'll fit you. Now, Tacovas have been on my radar for quite some time. You know, just recently I was in Texas. I covered Houston, San Antonio, and even Austin, Texas, where these were made. So I've been thinking about them and I just couldn't seem to get away and go try some on. But friends, some people have been talking about it on the channel, wanting me to review some. I just knew it was gonna happen, but I didn't know when. Well, then this happened. Friends, I was at work and the toe of my Justin's just busted loose and I was about an hour away from my house. So the whole day, my like it was just flapping and I was getting tripping and getting caught up on stuff. It was a nightmare, but that was the moment where I took to Instagram and I asked you guys, should I repair the Justin's or get a new set of Tacovas? And I had a mixed review, you know, some guys were like, hey, fix the Justins because we need to be environmentally friendly and I'm all about that. And then some guys just straight up get the Tacova. So what I did is there was a mate who actually wanted to buy them from me. Now I thought that was kind of cool. They were in such bad condition that I felt bad. So I said, look, I'll let you pay the shipping and that's it. So he's gonna take them to his cobbler buddy and get them fixed up and they have a whole new life ahead of them. And so at that point, it just made the decision so easy. You know what? The decision was made for me. Let me get some Tacovas. You enjoy those boots. And so here we are. The tricky thing is, it just so happened, I think God's hand was involved in this because the timing came about that right as my belt was busting, my boots took a dump, uh, it happened to be right before Father's Day weekend. And so Tacovas was running the cell where if you get a set of boots, 
you get a belt for free. Now friends, I'm not kidding. I actually was watching the prices. I was getting close to buying a pair. I just couldn't quite justify it yet. And then that blowout happened and all the stars aligned and I got a free belt. So I was checking the prices and I can vouch that that was in fact a good deal. So there it is, there's the care instructions. We talked about the sizing, what you should get, and of course the build quality, the construction, what kind of leather it is, the midsole, the outsole, the uppers. Friends, we're gonna take these on an adventure and make sure and hang with me to the end because I'm gonna give you my fair and honest review of these boots. I'm not paid by Tacovas. this video is not sponsored, but I just happen to love them so far. So let's go on that adventure. Friends, you probably thought we'd go on some kind of adventure like we typically do, heading down some kind of trail, going out kayaking, but not in the Banderas. Guys, these things are made for work, so I took them along with me on their first maiden voyage out here at the dump. I run a cleanup and hauling business, and so I had to put them straight to work. Let me know in the comments what kind of boots you think I should wear for this kind of work. It's a crappy job, but somebody's got to do it. Last but not least, you better bet we recycle. We end up hauling off thousands and thousands of pounds of metal every single year. So let's talk about these boots. a good hard day of work you know it feels uncomfortable to take these things out day one and just start kicking them around but that's what I bought them for that's what they say they're sold for and that's the purpose I intended to have them for so friends I went out and like I said I did the cleanup and hauling and I wore these things all day long now obviously if you check the channel we like to do one year reviews and six months and stuff like that. So we're gonna talk about these boots as the time goes on. I wanted to give you guys a real good idea of what they're made out of, the quality, and what I felt about them. At first I was watching another gentleman's video and he said that it has some heel slip. And so when I first tried them on, I actually noticed that a little bit. And I got a little concerned. I started wondering, is this gonna be an issue? So friends, as I took off and I started walking and working, and I was up in the mountains where I was getting all that trash from, I didn't notice that at all. It just seemed to go away immediately. I don't have any pain on the back of my heel. I don't have any pain on my toes. These things actually fit just perfect, just like a glove, just like a leather work glove would. And so I really like how heavy they are, how sturdy they are. The leather feels amazing. I was, again, in the mountains, you can see some dirt in there already. Friends, I really think these things are super grippy. Uh, there is some stuff stuck in there, but it's not rocks. It's not gonna collect rocks like it typically would, like on a Vibram lug sole. Let's check out the bottom of this one. Guys, you saw I was just doing that nasty cleanup and hauling stuff, so that's what that is. Kinda gross, uh, but that's, I wanted to give you guys an idea of how these boots 
come out after one day of working. I obviously scuffed up some of this leather right here. I could get some of that Phoebe's edge dressing and touch that up if I wanted. But again, that's not my intent with these. Of course, they're really tall. Now my Justin's were a little bit shorter as we talked about, but that didn't seem to bug me at all. And then it has a pointy toe instead of the round toe and then this big heel. I brought a rock in to tell you guys something. Now this is basic, this isn't anything that's gonna blow your mind, but it's just something I was thinking about. Again, cause I was up in the mountains and I asked you guys, what kind of boots do you think I should wear for that type of work? But friends, when I hit a rock like this on a heel that thick, you know you're on something. And so you, you could roll your ankle or twist it much easier, I felt, than if you have that shorter heel. And so on the Roper style, on my Justins, I was more accustomed to a really short heel and that didn't seem like I was sitting up rocking back and forth. But friends, this is a really big heel designed to keep you in the stirrups and that's exactly what I experienced today. A tougher, taller heel that just, I haven't been in a good set of cowboy boots like this in quite some time. And so that took me back and made me think about where I'm putting my feet and where I'm stepping. Overall, friends, I am just so thrilled with these boots. I gotta say, this is the boot that I've been most excited about having in the last several set of boots. And that's because it, just the quality is there. The quality's on point. Friends, the leather is so tough and I just know that as the time goes on, they're gonna hold up. I already can tell you the leather's thicker than my Justin boots. It's a better quality leather. The inner lining is better. The outsole is a lot better. Justin makes their own outsole and I just think this thing is where it's at. Again, we have some time to tell. We're gonna know more as the days and weeks and months go by. And that's it friends. That's the review and the rundown of these. Bandera by Tacovas. I really love these boots and I can put my name behind them. I obviously can't say that about all the boots. Check back on the channel and you'll see that I don't show every set of boots all the love. And so this isn't sponsored or anything, but I really feel like I can recommend these. So if you're interested in a set, make sure and check the description down below. I'm gonna put a link to some Tacovas and you can pick yourself up a set today. If you get a chance, I really recommend taking a stop by one of their stores if you're in their areas. I know that the company is growing and growing, so you'll have a chance. But as always, friends, I'm keen to know what kind of boots do you have on today? Let me know in the comments below and let's see if we can't get a conversation going. Friends, until the next video, make sure and give those boots some love. Why not throw some polish on there, hit it with a horsehair brush, and then throw in some cedar shoe trees. God bless you guys and we'll catch you in the next video.